go to Speedo. So I was thinking about something at work. Huh. Who do you think would win in a fight between XXX420 No Scope XXX and The Legend 27? Ten seconds. Uh, knocked. That's or is this your dream? I don't know what's going on, but like, oh, Dios something's going on. Come on, knocked. Hurry! Seriously, man, <laughs> cut it out. It's not safe. Plus, you're causing a scene. It's totally Great a dream, you right? Think this is funny? Are you seriously trying to kill me? <laughs> I'm just a <laughs> What are you Best bad guy. Time? It's all your fault. What are you talking about? Do you really mean that, Nog? <laughs> maybe. What, you what do you mean, Nog? maybe? What good would it do me to hurt you? Who cares? Nog, please. Can't we talk for a sec? Never. It's like if the bad guy in the Final Fantasy games wanted to fuck you. That's what I'm getting from this. He's fucking weird. Can we talk for a second? Is that Knocked. just killed your girlfriend, you know, just so that we could talk? You know, let's go over here alone in the stop time. You're gonna jerk me off? That's what it looks like. Jerk me off and stop time. <laughs> How long can Why you did come you jump in up the here? stop time? <laughs> Forever and never. <laughs> so yeah, we got our new little video set up with the uh, with the videos and the lights and uh, how we appear on screen. I like it. It's easier to look at. Like, oh, I already explained this in my detention video. That's fine. Oh, wait, no, I wasn't able to record that because the cat was being an asshole and the recording thing you wouldn't record. Because last time we forgot to take We the accidentally recorded a like, three-hour-long session of Last Guardian. It was actually only like an hour and a half. But we left the recording. And then there's like a like another hour and a half of us laughing at like Seinfeld or some on. shit. That would explain all this weird it stuff. caught me watching Elevator, bad reality TV show. Oh, Elevator was just like right in the background. Great but awesome at the same like, time. You said great and awesome. Yeah. It's so fucking terrible, yeah, baby. Yeah, it was really bad. So yeah, everything is like, what the fuck is going on? Prompto wakes you up because you had the Last Guardian Syndrome where you got fucking knocked out <laughs> hard. Oh, oh shit! Stop opening the cabinets! What do you mean in the cabinets? Nothing, he just He's wants- fucking bug poison in those cabinets, you asshole! Head to the next car. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, he's a little bigger. Yeah, no, he looks cool. Alright, yeah, we're gonna check the rear, alright. We're gonna go ahead and just go check that rear right now. Oh shit. I'm trying to think about all the big Final Fantasy bad guy. Seymour. He's a Seymour, that's what he is. He just wants to fuck you. Or Yuna. Yeah. Uh, Imperial Shock, they're attempting to blow up the train. If I don't take them down, it's gonna be a game over. So this is... You should let them blow up the train. No, because I still have... Well, I can't say yet to no, get a game over. No, you got your shit kicked in in those uh, super dungeons. I got my shit kicked in once by the dungeon where you're not allowed to yeah. bring items. Yeah, super dungeons. It still counts. 
It's only that one dungeon. Well, how many times have you been in that one dungeon? Once. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, twice. No, no, yeah, once. I mean, I came back, but... Oh, oh. fuck, that looks awesome! Yeah, that looked really good. Oh, wait. Almost forgot. Where are Ignis and, uh, Muscles? They, uh, they went... Muscles and eyes. <laughs> uh, he was ex explaining, Prompto was explaining that they, uh... Oh, damn, is that? Oh. Fun never ends. Yeah, that they went to the front of the car. Fucking Katana is the coolest. Like, it's got a long wind-up, but so powerful. He's ready for round two. But I'm also losing a lot of health by using it. Yeah, I can see that. But it's so good. It goes down super fast. The health? Yeah. yeah. Did you see his head get knocked yeah. off? Yeah, no, it was just his helmet. Oh, okay. I thought it might have been his, like, his whole head. No, I guess not. Oh, those guys don't take, like... Any shit, they just keep on fucking walking. Yeah, no, they don't give a fuck. Like, how much can that train take, though? Um, it'll it'll kind of try to freak you out a little bit. Um, but it's really fine necessary. as long as you don't, like, as long as you don't uh, stop fighting these guys, you'll be fine. I mean, it's just pretty much like he's super easy. Uh, the shock troopers aren't really that bad. It's just the big axemen. They take a lot of hits. Well, it's just only really the part where they explode is bad. No, it's not even that. It's whenever they do the, like the spin around in a fucking 360 with their swords and do all that weird shit. Oh, that was cool. Yeah. So I was thinking about something at work. Huh. Who do you think would win in a fight between XXX 420 No Scope XXX and The Legend 27? The Legend 27. Fucking. The Legend 27 killed my father. Oh shit. <laughs> Point war to there. What did the Legend 27 do to you? Now go fucking Metal Gear the shit out of his tank. The Legend 27 took down Metal Gear. I'm with, I'm doing the Legend 27 things right now. Without a strategy guide from the internet. Oh. I mean original NES Metal Gear with the random ass mine pattern. This is another really fun part of the... Oh wait. <laughs> you got it the wrong way. I think so, yeah. Yeah. Like, Arden is Somewhere. obviously evil. 100% evil. You had him. You had him in your grasp. And you said, maybe? Maybe, I don't understand. Um. I'm supposed to hold on and chill there? Okay, there we go. Nope, kind of wait a little bit because you want to get these doors open. Oh, okay. You're gonna want to go in here. And I got these little shock trooper guys. Uh, so everything in here is just basically if, if you fuck this up, it's game, game over. Game over. I feel like that's gonna be the game from like this point forward, isn't it? Something like that. Okay. So you kill one of those. Oh shit! So you just need to get one when they're up here because they're also no. Close you have to. Find. You have to go through and you have to take out all of them oh. by blowing up the shock troopers. And you get Oh, I out figured if one blew up, then. Nope. Alright. Go from one plane to the other. No, that's what I mean. If you, like, get one shock trooper to explode and then not take out the other. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you meant, like, if you no, get not one the planes. ship to explode. No. no, you gotta go from plane to plane doing that. Yeah, now where's. Alright. Yep, go this, you kill these guys, yes. Oh, no! All right, so. For some we... reason we glitched out. Oh, you gotta get off this thing. Oh, what the fuck happened? 
weapon. I guess this prompt us DLC. How long were you in the dark? Oh, you're gonna get raped. Like, super hard. Hit him with that. That one that shot from behind the. So yeah, so that's that's Prompto's DLC. Yeah, I fucking guess. Like he already, he had his gun, right? Arden did a flip. That's why I said maybe earlier when you were chasing Arden and you were like, "You motherfucker!" And he's like, "Dude, are you really trying to kill me?" He was projecting his image onto Prompto. So you were chasing Prompto around. That's why he was humming the Chocobo song. And that's why he was, you know, dude, are you, what's Wait, going on? no. Are you speculating or is that what happened? No, that's what happened. Because in that scene right there, you go to swipe, you see Arden fall back. And I'll, I'll show you in the video yeah, after you get it done. Cause... You see Arden fall, it cuts to a different angle, and it's you see Prompto is actually the one falling. Yeah. He, he flipped their image. Arden uses a stitch in time to switch appearances. Oh, oh okay, yeah, I should have read that. <laughs> yeah. No speculation. That's a really good power. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Oh, no, you think you're fighting the bad guy? No, that's your homie. What? That's your friend. That's... That's a fucking great power. Yeah, you didn't... Fucked, fuck Jet and Blitzball. Fuck yeah. that. You've got to stop this. Gotta thing. stop this crazy thing. The train. I pushed him. I mean, Arden made me. I don't know where he is, but we can't leave him. Stay calm, Noct. I'm as concerned for Prompto as you are. But I'm looking for him right now. I've discovered a new recipe. <laughs> what do we do? First, we drop the passengers off at Tenebrae. We'll be arriving shortly. What about Prompto? Given the Chancellor's involvement, it's probable he's no longer where we left him. In any case, he may try to contact us. Let us wait and hope for now. Let us wait and hope. Gladio's with me. Are the two of you okay at least? Yes. Okay, on my way. Huh? I'll be there as soon as I take care of these things. Huh. Huh. And things oh. just got worse. Yeah, now... He looks fucking cool! Ass gargoyle boy demon monster shit. Yeah, so as I said, uh, if you listen to some of the uh, some so of like the radios long? and everything, you you will find out earlier on that leading experts are starting to question why are nights getting longer and days getting shorter. Huh. How long were they switched? So... Um, I think from the... From the moment that you hear Arden or you see Arden enter the train humming to Chocobo, from there it's really cool. You fucking just see all the demons yeah. lining up. It's super good. A lot of good these lights are doing. Yeah. I mean, doing shit. I mean, he should just put on the fucking ring, right? At this point. Really? Why hasn't he put on the ring yet? <laughs> I mean, technically, he has kind of had a lot going on at once. You know. Give me that bullshit. Just, it's just slip it on. It's really all it is. He doesn't even know what it does, does he? Uh, I think he has, like, a general idea. Yeah? Like, he kind of gets the basics, but I don't think that he fully comprehends what exactly is going on just yet. These tiny motherfuckers just saw you take out a gargoyle. They're like, nah, we got this. We are powerful in numbers. Piss off. <laughs> Piss off. You son of a bitch. Just gotta keep running. Time just powers are running. so fucking OP. Anything that has to do with time being reworked or rewritten. You really love 12, right? What was the guys in 12's deal? 
What do you mean? I don't know. Like I played 12 the least out of all the ones that I have played. What do you mean? What was the guys and? Oh, well, there was like a judge enemy, right? What was his deal? Oh. Uh, that was the main antagonist, right? Or not? Just... Oh God, it's been oh, fucking. What? Your eyes purple? It's been 11 years. Oh shit! What the fuck is? Demons. Mm -mm. Mm, gotta get the fuck out of there, there are too many legs. Hey, you wanna see Leviathan? Oh, I wanna see Leviathan. Oh, this train's about to get fucked up. Something like that. You should see what I did to Altissa! Is it a floating island? Tenebrae? Yeah. Um. Kind of. Kind of, I guess. Floating underwater. It's float. Yeah. It, it, it's got even flow. Come around like... Whatever. <laughs> you know. Well, look who's here. Oh, oh did you get here? Guess we've got you to thank <laughs> for this much. Hey. More to the eye. You want to know who to thank? Come with me. What? <laughs> Sorry. You good? No. Huh? What did you do to your eyes? <laughs> Just a flesh wound. Can you see? I'm so polite. Afraid not. Wow, that sucks. It's a cruel world. <laughs> I love her. You yeah. have to marry her. RNA is pretty there cool. There need uh, there's been talk there about multiple endings, right? Yeah. Them adding that in? There was. We I want to choose my wife. Is he dead? Or is that just speculation? Um, the multiple well, endings are open. canon. In I don't care. Time, handle what's at hand. I want to choose my own waifu. And I want that waifu to be Gladio. <laughs> The only appropriate one. So if it's not you, we thank. Oh, thank the demons. Pawns of the Imperial Army. Yeah. <laughs> the army that you fight for. Fought for. My men and I are in the search and rescue business now. <laughs> they gonna find you pronto. You pretty convenient. Yeah. Not we gonna happen. To ask. ask away. In light of what you've told us, we can't allow the other passengers to continue on. Sure, leave them to me. But who's gonna drive the train? Who could yeah, drive the train? Yeah. You know anyone? I do. In fact, I know that two. big's in a way that I missed earlier. Oh, what the fuck are, are they wearing? Bigs and wedge. Oh, no need to worry. Those are... I can Dude. take a look. Bigs oh, and really or wedge? Dude. What the fuck or is on your head? <laughs> driving a train to Gralia. That all. Well, who would he you looks like a straight up Nazi. That's Wedge. We'll do it. Biggs looks like really a fucking Nazi. Yeah. No sweat. Oh. <laughs> Come on, Biggs. Is this all you get of Tenenbrae? Um, you get a you get a little bit of insight into like what all is going on. Oh, he looks terrible. The gorge. The place is freezing. Makes sense. What with the ice goddess's cold corpse lying around. What? It's a rather long ride, so I suggest you bundle up before we ship out. By the way, I bumped into a woman from the manor. Used to serve house floor A. Must have gone off looking for you. Said she had something important to discuss. With me. I guess I ought to find her then. Is that yeah. main story or sad story? Huh? That's main story. Oh. Interessante. We'll be waiting on board. Give us a holler when you're ready to show up. <laughs> he said shove off. Come all the way down here. What the fuck is she doing all the way out here in the middle of the woods? 
Why aren't you like at a castle or something? She's like, hey, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. My word. Is that you, Prince Noctis? Uh, yeah. Have we? Oh, Fuck. blessed be the stars. Just look at what a fine young man I... you've grown into. I used to touch your I penis really when you were little. I came in service to House Florey. I doubt you'll remember me after these long years. You're right, I don't. I, uh, can't say I do. Don't worry. Who I am is of little import in light of what I wish to discuss. Lady Lunafreya risked everything to spirit the Ring of the Lucii away from the Citadel. Did she deliver it to you? Yeah. Stars. How is she these days? <laughs> My fears have been assuaged. Lord Ravis too will be overjoyed uh, uh, to hear this what? news. Mm. Ravis too. Excuse me. I'm confused. I beg of you, please see the ringed Noctis on my behalf. Already. My flesh has begun to fail me. No, I cannot accept it. <sighs> By your hand, it must be done. To deliver the ring and inspire the king is your calling. You mustn't fall. But I lack the strength to go on. Find it, Lunafreya. You have the will. Go to Noctis. Show him the truth of your heart. I'm confused. I understand you will go hence to the Imperial Capital. Yeah. Lord Ravis has King Regis's glaive in his safekeeping, and it was his wish to return it to you, my prince. Though I imagine it will not be easy for you to find each other. I'll get it from him somehow. I pray it shall be so. Since when has Ravis been Mr. Supportive Brother Man? That's part of the thing of why they say, like, they need to go back through and add in more cutscenes and more yeah, cause what the explanation fuck of and his her junk. Her flesh is failing her? So the duty of the Oracle, you are a Jesus Mother Teresa type. You go around oh, and you go around and you bless people. And what you're doing when you're blessing them is you're literally taking the sin or the darkness or whatever that's in them and you are taking it into yourself. So earlier when you saw her and she was talking to that old man and she was like, let me heal you. She was taking whatever was wrong with him and taking it upon herself. So you're telling me that Lady Luna Freya probably has super aids? Probably, yeah. That's pretty much what the Star Scourge. She got some mad super aids up in here. It's probably best you didn't tap that. Prince Noctis. Yeah. Prince Noctis, were, were you excited to marry? Nah, you she had Maya? super aids. Because she was really excited to marry you. She looked so happy the day her dress arrived. She really loved you, Prince Noctis. Who are you? <laughs> I. First, the father had mourned the fate of his chosen son. Yet in Tenebrae, the two found solace. It was not the Oracle who assuaged their fears. 
But the girl, she holds the true power. I have little to offer a king other than the voice afforded the Oracle. Nevertheless, and I'm afraid you might find this foolish. But to be together with Noctis again, even if only for a short while, it would mean the world to me. I do not seek to guide him, merely to stand beside him. So basically, Rio worried she was burdening you with the wedding. That's not true, is it? No, not at all. What the fuck, girl? Did you sit in on their small council meetings? No, basically, Luna. She give press releases on her daily emotional state about the wedding. <laughs> uh, not exactly. <laughs> Should we continue on the next episode? Yeah, 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 we can do that. Right. I think. I'm not really, since we had this, this is the first time we cut in a couple episodes, so I'm not really sure where where it's going to go down. Uh, All right. Boy, I'm saying that because I'm about to pass out. <laughs> Subscribe.